morning I wanted to talk about over engineering things over engineering is something that I see happening a lot in the industry at least in my experience both as an engineer as well as just a user of products um, and you know I think there's different kinds of people who like different kinds of things for different reasons uh, both when it comes you know to life and technology and I prefer simplicity uh, you know, I prefer simplicity of languages. I think that's something that's written in a way that's easier to understand for somebody who did not write the code is better. Um, I prefer simplicity in technologies. I prefer simplicity in UIs. And simple doesn't mean easy. It just uh, means it's simple. It, you can look at it, understand what it does and what it's supposed to do. Um, you know, Steve Jobs, I believe, said something along the lines of uh, you know, the real challenge is not uh, figuring out what to do, it's figuring out what not to do. And I think uh, that definitely rings true to me. Uh, and I see a lot of people not taking to time to ask themselves, do we really need to do this? Is this worth us spending our time? And over-engineering things is definitely a big part of it. Uh, you know, every time I see somebody who wants to add an option to UI to do something, uh, you know, I, I protest internally uh, because, uh, you know, before we add this option, I want to make sure that it's needed because it's not needed, you know, for 80% of your use cases, you're probably over-engineering it. And, you know, I like to step back and look at this request that comes from a user and to think, what is the real issue here? How can we solve it? for real for everybody why did this issue even come to the first place it's easy to say let's add option to do this uh, but it comes with a tremendous cost down the road of uh, having to maintain this um, uh, maintain all these options and stuff like that um, another uh, way I see things being over engineered is uh, by choosing technologies that are uh, you know, premature optimization, I would like to call it. Uh, but, you know, it comes in the forms of, uh, you know, choosing technology, choosing database technology, for example, uh, that's like a, one of those trendy hot database instead of using, using regular relational Postgres database or something. Um, and, you know, people try to optimize for the load that they optimistically hope to have one day. Uh, and, and, you know, and they spend all this time building scalable solutions and they don't focus on the core issue at hand. So for example, I'd like to, uh, you know, one I think the, one of the best UIs in the world is Google search uh, UI. And it's literally just one text bar and one button. You type in your text, you hit search, bam, and magic happens. And when they started implementing that, um, you know, UI hasn't changed that much since Google first came out. Um, and, you know, it's a very simple UI but it doesn't mean what they do is easy, right? Uh, but I bet you when Google first came out, they didn't spend too much time trying to make sure it can scale uh, to work across the world uh, because that's the problem they didn't have at the time. The real problem was uh, how do we come up with the uh, best way to take a search query and return a result? And that's the problem where they focus all their efforts and they come up with a solution for that problem uh, you know, I bet you they didn't spend a ton of time, uh, you know, concerning themselves with all these other bells and whistles that came later, like MapReduce and all this other stuff, uh, which is important problems to solve, but they have to grow into them instead of trying to solve them from the get-go. This, that's my opinion. Um, uh, and then, amazingly, that simple UI carried them all the way through, right? Uh, till today, probably still makes most money for them. Uh, so. So yeah, so that's that's sort of my point. The don't over-engineer things. You know, there's 80-20% rule applies. 20% of your efforts will generate 80% of results, and you know, contrary, 80% of your efforts will only account for 20% of uh, the results. So you know, 20% of efforts, 80% of results. So try to constrain this 20% that are gonna give you most of the results, solving core problems your customers are having and solving it the best way possible, better than any of your competition. That's where you should be focusing all your engineering effort or majority of your engineering effort, not the other 20% uh, 
uh, of the product, which will take 80% of your time, such as scaling and, and stuff like that. You know, uh, yeah, and I, I think a lot of people don't take the time to, you know, be like, oh, let's do this. And they never take the time to like really think through, do we really need to do this? Is this the, you know, 20% thing that's gonna get us all the way there? Or is it just, are we just spinning our wheels, looking busy just because we have engineering power or whatever? Uh, and you know, every time you redesign something, you should be asking yourself the same thing. Do we really have to add this new feature or is it something missing like in there? Can we simplify it to solve this issue and not make it more complex to solve this issue? And every time you make something harder, it's a fork in the road, right? Every time you add fork in the road, complexity goes up. It's harder to maintain, um, harder to bring people up to speed, harder to keep track of all the changes that are happening. It's harder for users to use it. Uh, it's just not good. Simplicity, it's really a way to go. Every time you have to choose something fancy, add something fancy, uh, make your UI more complex, stop and ask yourself, do we really need to be doing this? Are we really providing value to our customers or we're just like, you know, try chasing some magical rainbows and unicorns and that really gonna help us, uh, you know, and just gonna waste our cycles. Are we focused on the things that matter or we're just, you know, trying to be trendy and cool and all that stuff? I prefer simple, uh, you know, uh, for example, you know, Google, they're, you know, for example, if I'm Google, right, today, modern day Google, and I need to rewrite the service to a new, uh, you know, ecosystem, uh, I will know which load that, you know, I'm currently have, I know which load I'm gonna have on the new system. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, coming up with a solution that's scalable, designed well to handle this load. But if you're a startup iterating on something new, uh, you know, you only have a couple thousand users. There is zero value in like in designing a scalable system that can handle millions of users if your core business proposition is not sold. So that's my point. You know, I, I prefer simplicity. I prefer not over-engineering things. And I encourage everybody to ask themselves um, every time you add something, every time you add complexity to your product, is it really necessary? Is it really worth it? Can we solve it by simplifying things instead of making it more complex? Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Um, thank you for listening. I really appreciate it.